My name is Tomas and I am a contributor to the Pith Network. We often get questions such as where does Pith source its price data from or what are the safety mechanisms built into your price feeds. I want to take a minute to explain how Pith prices are made available on a target blockchain and to go over the security practices and reliability testing behind every new price feed. It's important to understand that the Pith Network does not publish any data itself. Instead, it runs an application chain where market data providers publish price information to the Pith Network. The Pith Oracle is then responsible for managing the set of price feeds that publishers or Pith data providers send price updates to. If you go to the Pith website and open one of the price feeds, you will find the price components section. Each component of a price feed is a different publisher contributing their idea of the real-time price for that particular market fair. Data providers also contribute a confidence interval which is their measure of how confident they are about the price they're publishing. On every slot, the Oracle runs an on-chain transparent aggregation algorithm on the prices and confidence intervals published by each component on the previous slot and produces a single aggregate price and confidence interval. The aggregation mechanism is designed to have three main properties. First, to be resistant to manipulation. For example, when a data provider publishes a price that is too far away from the other components in an attempt to manipulate the aggregate. Second, to weight data sources with different levels of accuracy. For example, when a data provider is more confident about the price than another. And third, to take into account variations between publishers, because assets trade at different prices across different venues. So Pith does not publish data itself, and it uses an aggregation mechanism to protect the price feeds. There is also one more component to ensuring the quality of prices, and that is the conformance testing process. Before Pith announces a new price feed and before a new data provider is allowed to contribute to a price feed, there is a comprehensive conformance testing process. During that process, data providers publish data to a mock oracle running on a testnet chain and that data is collected over 72 hours for analysis. For new data providers, the confidence interval logic is checked over to make sure that it's set up correctly and that the provider is not publishing a price with a confidence interval that is too wide or too tight. The prices are also checked to make sure that they're compatible with the aggregate. Back to the price components view on our website, you can click on the address or the public key of a component to open its publisher metrics page. On this page, you can download the conformance report with the raw data used during the test process. For new price feeds, a reliability model is run to detect any potential issues. For example, to make sure that providers don't go down at the same time or that prices are too correlated. A synthetic aggregate price is also computed from historical data to assess the quality of what the aggregate would look like. So that's a quick explanation of the reliability and security practices that go into Pith prices. You can read more about it on our blog, which will be linked below in the description. If you have any questions about Pith, you can explore our documentation at docs.pith.network or ask any questions in the Pith Telegram or Discord. Thank you.